Hi, we're here outside Honey Bee Robotics because the Planetary Society's got an exciting new project partnering with Honey Bee Robotics, PlanetVac, a new uh, type of sampling system to gather materials either for something like a Mars sample return or just to move material, whether it be Mars, the Moon, or an asteroid, into an instrument on the surface of a planet. And uh, we want to learn about that and also check out the cool toys that Honey Bee Robotics has, both for things they've done in the past and the future. Hey, Hi, Chris. Bruce. How's it going? Very good. Good to see you. We're here at Honey Bee Robotics. You know how you know you're at Honey Bee Robotics? When they use basalt <laughs> as a doorstop that has a bunch of holes in it they've drilled with their spiffy keen machines. <laughs> that, that, that is what that is there, Chris, right? <laughs> yeah. So this, this basalt actually came from uh, Mojave. Initially, we had an office in Brooklyn. So this, this piece, uh, which was part of a much bigger boulder, we shipped all the way from Mojave to Brooklyn. And when we moved back to Los Angeles, we shipped it back to, uh, to its home location, California. Shipping companies must really love you. <laughs> oh, yeah, we love it. <laughs> this is one of its kind Mars vacuum chamber. We can pull Martian pressure within 15 minutes. And you know, when you develop something for Mars exploration or Luna or asteroid exploration, it's really important to test everything under the same conditions that the hardware is going to see on the extraterrestrial planet. Uh, so we can uh, build a mock-up, a lander, like a sort of like a Phoenix lander, but much smaller, and uh, drop it from 11, 12 feet down onto the bed of regolith. Uh, and we can shoot movies as, the, as this land is being dropped onto the bed of regolith. In this case, regolith is going to be Mars Mojave simulant, especially designed for, um, for having the same properties as, a, as the regolith or sand or soil that we have right now on Mars. So let's talk more about what PlanetVac actually is and, uh, and, and what it's designed to do. Planet Vac is a new way of uh, sampling on Mars, Moon, or asteroids. Much, much simpler way of sampling than anyone, any other sampler system that has been developed to date. Um, as you probably know, uh, the, the biggest issue in planetary exploration is actually getting a sample. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, orbiters, uh, you know, remote sensing, that's, that's easy stuff. And the, the third, third dimension, subsurface, is a something that people have been talking about in, a, uh, in many scenarios, and, and the, we're still not there yet. Look, for example, at, uh, you know, at the Phoenix, uh, Phoenix mission. The, the biggest issue was not actually landing, was getting a sample delivered into the instruments. Hayabusa mission it brought back few, just a few grains of the, um, of the asteroid material. So it wasn't getting to the asteroid or looking at the asteroid. It was actually getting some of the samples. Um, so what we, the, the problem with all these is that a lot of uh, sampling systems rely on a lot of actuators. They rely on robotic arms. They have to deal with sticky material, like in the case of the Phoenix mission. What we propose is something much, much simpler. It's using gas here like we do here on Earth. Uh, if we deal with dust on Earth, we use vacuum cleaners. Vacuum cleaners are perfect to suck up the dust, right? So why not use vacuum cleaners on Mars, Moon, or asteroids? So we do the same thing on these planets. It's, it's almost the same thing. The problem is here on Earth, we suck the dust, right? We create a suction at the back end. Whereas in vacuum, we cannot, do, we cannot rely on the same principle. Somehow we have to inject gas into the sample, essentially put in positive pressure. And that's what Mars Vac does. We inject gas at the right spot and we create higher pressure area. And then this gas tries to escape to all of these different uh, locations in space. We can constrain the path along where the gas can escape and uh, lead it straight into the sampling system. So, it, so it's giving you a, a simpler, potentially less expensive, at least additional option for a way to sample and do it without, uh, with the reliability due to the lack of moving parts. Absolutely, it's got no moving parts. Essentially, the only thing you need to do 
is uh, push the tube into the soil or you don't even have to push it. You can place it above the lunar surface or asteroid surface and so on, inject the gas and then capture the sample at the back end. And you do not have to bring the gas with you. A lot of, all of the spacecrafts, they use propulsion system and they use propellant, uh, they use a, a pressurant in terms of helium, high pressure helium, to pressurize uh, propellant. This, um, in case of landers, once you land on the surface of Mars, this helium is vented to the outside. But you can tap into it and have working gas for free. We have demonstrated that uh, in, a, in a zero gravity flights, actually at 1.6 G, uh, and in vacuum chamber, that with one gram of gas, you can lift 6,000 grams of soil. And the reason for this huge efficiency is that you work in vacuum. Mm -hmm. Gas is very, very powerful in vacuum because the momentum of the gas is proportional to the pressure ratio, not the pressure difference. Mm -hmm. What we have not done and what we would love to do with Planetary Society is build a mock-up lander with uh, all these pneumatic system attached to it, drop it in our vacuum chamber and drop it not into anything else but analog materials mm -hmm. like Mars Mojave simulant and JSC-1A uh, lunar soil simulant to show everyone that it is actually feasible. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Yeah. It's been great coming over here, learning more about Planet Vac. And uh, be sure to check out the other video that we shot at, here at Honey Bee Robotics, talking about some of their past accomplishments and future really cool things they're working on. Uh, and in the meantime, help out. You can support the Planetary Society. Help us, help Chris, to make Planet Vac a reality. Thank you.